Tusome muri Yakobo. We're reading in the book of James. Uh, igice cya mbere umurongo wa kabiri kugera ku wa kane. James chapter 1 from verse 2 through 4. Yakobo igice cya mbere umurongo wa kabiri kugera ku wa kane. James chapter 1 from verse 2 through 4. Reka dusome mwizi na rya Yesu. Amen. Yakobo igice cya mbere umurongo wa mbere tugeze ku wa kane. Reka dusome mwizi na rya Yesu. Yakobo imbata y'Imana numwami Yesu Kristo ndabandikiye mwebwa bo mu miryango 12 yabatatanye ndabataye. Bene data Mwemere ko ari ibyishimo rwose ni mugubwa gitumo nibibagerageza bitari bimwe mumenye yuko kugeragezwa ko kwizera kwanyu gutera kwihangana ariko mureke kwihangana gusoza umurimo wako mubone gutungana rwose muhitse mutabuzeho na gato amen amen reka yongera dufashe ariko yasoma nta kibazo James chapter 1, verse 2 through 4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, when have trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Amen. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 10, verses 12 to 13. Kadusome mwizi na rya Yesu tawe cyambaye cy'abakorinto 10 12 tugeze kuri 13 dusome mwizi na rya Yesu nuko rero wibwira ko ahagaze yirinda tagwa nta kigeragezo kibasha kubageraho kitari urusange mu bantu kandi imana niyo kwizerwa kuko itazaba kundira kugeragezwa ibiruti byo mushobora ahubwo hamwe nibibagerageza izabacira kanzu kugira ngo mubone uko mubasha kukihanganira Amen. Amen. Let's read First Corinthians 10, 12, 14. So if you think you're standing from, be careful that you don't fall. No temptation has overtaken you except what is coming to, mind, to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you tempted beyond what you can bear, but you're tempted. He will provide a way out so that you can endure it. Amen. 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 Philippians chapter 4 from verses 12 aba Philippi bice bine 12 reka dusome mwizina so nzi gucicwa bugufi nzi no kugira ibisaga naho naba ndi hose nuko naba ndi kose nigishijwe buryo bwo kwihangana bwose ari uguhaga ari ugusonza Aru kujiri visa gachi angwa guchena. Nshobozwa byose na kristu mbaraga. Amen. I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being contained in, in any and every situation. Whether well fed or hungry. Whether living in plenty or want. Amen. Amen. Ijamborji maana muri ya kubo tukwa somye. The word of God that we read in James. Iravuga ngo mwe bene data mwemere ko ari by'ibyishimo rwose ni mugubwa gitumo nibibagerageza bitari bimwe It says the brethren consider, consider it pure joy if you face many different trials Mumenye ko kugeragezwa ko kwizera kwanyu gutera kwihangana Know that the tasting of thy faith produces endurance Ariko mureke kwihangana kwanyu gusoza umurimo wako But let the patience accomplish its work so that you may be pure, you may be pure in the eyes of the Lord. I want us to talk about the word. Which is entitled. Remaining faithful and steady first in, in, in hardship. Remaining faithful and patient through hardship. Amen. Amen. I want to say, I want to speak about this word. Harimo amagambo avuga kugubwa gitumo. 
There are certain words that says to be caught by surprise. No kwihangana and patience. No kuwa ushite rwose and be remaining firm, faithful. In the other Bible version, it says, the bravery of being patient in hardship. Bravery of being patient. There is a certain Bible that says that. In hardship is difficulties. Hanyuma and then, so then being uh, complete, so it's being faithful. Then, so different, ki, ki, different kinds of trials. Each trial has its own face. It has its own color. It's a trial. Hallelujah. 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 Fear not. Hallelujah. 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 God has sent me to you to tell you to be strong. Stand firm and wavering in different hardships and trials. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Normally, what is a trial? It is an obstacle. No obstacle. It is an obstacle. It is an obstacle. So which hinders your plan that was about to be accomplished. And it's, it hinders your plan. So when it catches you off guard, it means it comes when you're not ready. And you might wonder, what if I'm caught by surprise by something? So people of God or laymen, people, ordinary people, we feel we can live in freedom. So we, we, we like to live without being tasted or tried. So accept it because we shall face trials while we are still in the world. There is time to tell you the goodness of God. But God has chosen to tell us to go to walk with God patiently. Round of applause to the Lord because we ought to be patient. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So each and every one of us is tried. Even a baby, a little child faces trials as they have their own trials. A young man is tried as well. Same thing applies to young ladies. A married man has trials. And this happens to a married woman. So well, he who is patient, the educated have trials, even the rich have trials. The poor have trials. So tell your neighbor, it's common. It's common to everyone. Let's be patient. Stand firm. Let's be patient. Because what tries us are common in human beings. Ask your neighbor, do you have trials? Yes, they are. But thank God. He said he has sent the word. The one who has sent for you. To be strong. 
Do not be shaken. Remain firm in whatever tries you. And tell your neighbor, be patient, time will come, we shall come out of this. Round of applause to the Almighty God. Trials can be categorized, can have three categories. There is a trial that is caused by the devil himself. The second is the trial you cause yourself. And there's a trial brought by God. So a trial from the devil it behooves you to pray. To know the news. To trace the source. And then pray, intercede, and drive it out eventually to leave. Because the word of God Mm -hmm. It says, fight the devil and he'll flee from you. You need to you need to identify where the trial comes from. Is it from God, from the devil, or is it caused by myself? You need to understand that. There's another type of trial. So caused by you, you cause yourself. So you're the one who brings the trial to yourself. So it was, you caused it to yourself. Maybe you took snappy decision. Maybe you willingly sinned. So you knew, you did it willingly, the sin. Depending on your canality. That is the trial that you brought yourself, not from God. So you fight against it. Because God gave us uh, understanding and to know whether you cause it yourself to yourself or it was from somebody else. So such trial you need to, re to repaint and then fight against it then it will move away. And it's gone forever. So the trials you cause yourself, may God forgive you. And you have to <laughs> so you have to make up your mind and make new plans. So Randan said So if something is caused by you, you have to bear the consequences. Brethren, I was Amen. Trials we brought to ourselves, we need to bear. Them. So are we together? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the third kind of trial, which I would like us to dwell on and elaborate. It is a trial or a test from the Lord himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Ashimwe Chan. Praise God. A trial or a test from the Lord. Let's read Deuteronomy 8. Uh, umunani gata to kujera kurikane. 8 to 4. Aita soma tkuihuse. The Catusemis in Arias, 
kugira ngo ikumenyeshe yuko umuntu adatungwa n'umutsima gusa ahubwo yuko amagambo bose ava mu kanwa ko witeka ari yamutunga amen hallelujah amen hallelujah imana yemera ko ibintu biba ku muntu god does accept things to happen to happen to a man Imana yajemera kugerageza. He does accept to test you. Ahanga yageragejeje abisiraheli mu rugendo. Here God tested Israelites along the journey. Kugira ngo bace bugufi so that they may be humbled. Kugira ngo babone Imana itunga abantu nta kinishingiyeho so that they may see experience God who sustains people based on Kugira ngo babone Imana yambika abantu nta kinishingiyeho they may see God who clothes people without basing on anything Yabibukije uburyo yabagaburiye mu butayu He reminded them how he fed them in the desert how they dress clothes and they never grew weary you know dressing uh, wearing a cloth and you grow and the cloth grows at the same time he remind them how they grew with the sandals they had. He reminded them of the long journey they had in the desert. He said, you went all the way so that I may humble you. Tell your neighbor God does accept things to happen to us. So that our our faith may be tested. So that we may be humbled. And we may be able to understand others who will face the same challenges and trials afterwards. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you. God is serious sometimes you say what have, have i caused so god does allow somebody to go through orphanage so maybe i, I was born well things were there cars were there houses were there but the time comes and everything vanishes. So that he may humble me. I may be able to understand people who are angry. So that I may understand people going through hardships. I may be able to help the orphans. So I thank God that we don't remain there forever. He does make a way eventually. Mighty hands clap to the Lord. He who makes way of escape. And let me tell you. You are much more ready. Who is able to endure the trial? God has seen that you're brave. Has seen that you're able to endure it. That's why He didn't give it to your sibling. Be strong. Stand without being shaken. The Bible said that every trial is common to mankind. But together with whatever tries us, God will make a way for us. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We learned the word patience. Patience is absolutely difficult. Patience is absolutely difficult. It takes God's power. It takes calmness. Being measured, composed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the trial by all means will shake you. So when you sleep, you sleep with it. When you wake up, you wake, you wake up with it. 
ariko nongeye kubabwira bene data nevertheless i tell you brethren mukomere mutanyeganyega remain firm and shaken mushumba dukomere tutanyeganyega bishop let's remain strong torero dukomere tutanyeganyega church stand firm kandi turushe gukora imirimo y'umwana and let's keep doing good for the lord komere imana put your hands together for the lord ubundi normally if you see how we've been praising and worshiping when something shaking comes to people those who are not strong in faith they fall the faint hunted they behave how they want normally to know whether somebody is strong you know you get to know that when you see somebody being tasted facing trials so when you see trees different kind of trees when the wind comes you see them shaking you know? but when the wind comes the weak trees will eventually fall the, the banana trees fall the banana plantation falls. so the, the wind i'm talking about is a taste it is the one that comes into church and then weak 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 people will fall people with spiritual giftings they abandon the calling dries up. The calling dries up. Because of the testing. Because of the shaking. We are shaken. Normally when somebody hasn't been shaken. So gauging their salvation is absolutely hard. However, in hardship or trial, you get to know how much salvation somebody possesses. So ask yourself if I'm, when I'm tested, what happens? How do I behave? Do you make noise? Do you call for people to help? Do you distract, disturb people, cause chaos of any kind? Are you furious and people get to know how you are? We should rejoice even trials. Because let me tell you, Nobody gets a certificate without passing the exam. It's impossible. You cannot get a rank except you've gone through trainings. Don't be duped. Don't be lied. And think that everything is easy. So, uh, the taste of your faith, if you're patient, eventually you shall overcome. Put your hands together for the Lord. And in the exam, you don't have to shout, don't make noise. In the exam, you don't have to make noise. Those who are able to revise during the, the invigilator is there and everybody is quiet during the exam. Why are you disturbing in the exam? Why do you disturb in the exam? Do your exam. Carefully. Clap for the Lord. Everyone has his own test, his own exam. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the supervisor is the Lord Jesus Christ. He's supervising. 
is checking those who are cheating. Is observing those who are cheating. But I want to tell you. Keep calm in Say Pray to God. He shall come. He shall come. Mighty hands clap to the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Lift up your hands for the Lord. Are we learning? The Lord has sent you to give you this word. Remain patient. So it's not only who is being tried. Know that different people pass through difficulties as well. So the Bible is our, is our catalog. If you want to see people endure different pains, people who are lied against, they are in the Bible as well. People who fought for themselves, you find them in the Bible. The patient are found in the Bible as well. The patient are also found in the Bible. But victory belongs to those who are patient. Hallelujah. 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 Victory is for those who remained patient. Job 23. So let's read there. Eight, uh, 28 to Job 23. Short little pray. Mukoko Yihisha mukoko kwiburyo kugira ngo ntayibone. Yihisha mukoko kwiburyo kugira ngo ntayibone. Ari kwizinzira nyuramo. Ari kwizinzira nyuramo. Nimara kungerageza nzavamo. Nimara kungerageza nzavamo meze nkiza habo. Zavamo meze nkiza habo. Hallelujah. Ikirenge cyane. Oya naho ngaho. Okay, sorry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ngari kwizinzira nyuramo. But he knows the way I take. Who bring me out of the trial like a gold. I was giving you certain examples of people who are patient. Is the trial you have more difficult than jobs? So you feel you start losing hope. He lost his possessions, his, kids, his sons and daughters died. He reached the point and prayed. He said, God, wherever north, south, so where I used to find you, I can't find you there anymore. There comes a time when you pray. So when you are being tested in the school of the Lord, you try to listen to the, word of the, the voice of the Lord, but you can't. So you don't know how to behave. You try by all means, but you can't hear God. But as that's the time for you to wait on the Lord, it's time to remain patient. And says, he who knows the way is going Though people might have So though people may misinterpret what you went through. So but you, mu you must stand firm and say, the Lord who knows what I go through. After tasting me, I shall come out like gold. Pure gold. Normally where the gold is dug, it comes from the soil. 
barayicenshura nabonye bayicenshura mu bintu bakayicenshura no mu mazi bakayijyana mu ruganda bakayipyonda 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 wajya kubona ukabona havuyemo chenete nziza havuyemo ibintu byagaciro so the gold is tested goes through different processes and the process. But you don't know where it came from actually zahabu yavuye kuzimo so the gold came from the head is very zahabu yaratwitswe it was burnt zahabu yaratunganijwe it was purified and eventually it becomes more valuable for you to be an important person you must endure the hardship you must accept to go through the trials without making noise and eventually a wonderful person will Mary hands clap to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, ashimwe cyane. Praise Jesus. Hari wende kibazo wakwibaza cyangwa nakwibaza. You might ask yourself a question. Ukavuga uti nakwitwara nte? How should I mu kigeragezo? You might wonder how should I conduct myself during trials? How, how am I supposed to conduct to carry myself? So the first thing, the way you should carry yourself it is being calm during hardship. It is remaining silent. So the Israelites so they encircled Jericho during the time of uh, Joshua, God gave them a command to remain silent. Jericho was way too tall. Every place was closed. But God gave an order and told them to encircle Jericho in silence. So you trial take it like Jericho before you and encircle it, surround it silently. Normally, had they surrounded talking and making noise, there could have been a discouragement. They would have said, how long will this journey take? Does this thing work? Is it effective? Will it work? But Joshua is troubling us. He's telling us to keep on encircling. Sometimes when you're in hardship, they tell you God will come through for you. You don't believe it. So will this Jericho really fall eventually when we keep on surrounding it? Because it went beyond their mind. They couldn't understand. God said, remain silent. They surrounded Jericho seven times and it was, it came tumbling down. It came tumbling down because of the pain. The first thing is remaining calm before the Lord. So when John say, uh, God told him you have a you have a son. John was that why don't you keep quiet and wait for the promise of God to come to pass? Remaining calm in God. So the second question you may ask yourself how you should conduct yourself in trial is trusting God. Hallelujah. The trial will never thwart the plan of God upon your life. The trial will never hinder the plan of God to come to pass. And the third thing is not being discouraged. Praying. Praying. 
God will provide a way of escape. Come here, man, Put your hands together for the Lord. Tuza. Remain calm. We're in your own take. Trust the Lord. Iman is a good thing. Zira, you could just so calm. God will make a way for you to come out of that trial. Ukonjero kiba zuti se. You may wonder again. Ichi chijera jezo chisi jie inye jishoti. What taste? What lesson has this taste uh, left me with? Ah, ah, ichi jera jezo hundi. Normally, the taste from the Lord it must leave a lesson behind. For us, we are knowledgeable. We, we are supposed to learn in understanding. What lesson have you learned? So the hard times you're going through, what lessons are you learning from them? A trial purifies us and prepares us to do the good works. The trial causes you to know how to pray. God accepts this so that you can learn to trust and pray. It makes you know that God is number one in your life. It stops you from putting your trust in a man and believe in God only. The trial teaches us to be humble. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Trial teaches us to make radical decisions from the Lord. The trial teaches us obedience to God. Put your hands together for the Lord. I don't know what you're going through. It could be circumstantial. It could be in your household. It could be the ministry. It could be a different kind of trial. But again, I tell you, stand firm. And don't make noise in trial. Just show it. Take it to Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once you are tasted, you shall emerge like a gold. Be strong. I tell you once more, be strong. Be strong. Whatever tries you, be strong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In addition to this, let's ask God to remain calm and steady while waiting for God to act. Request God to give you patience. Let no one lead that you're going through difficulties and trials. They can allow God to enable you to emerge out of trial like a gold, pure gold. Don't be shaken like a banana trunk. Don't, don't backslide because of trials. Rather remain steady. I am speaking to those who are There are people who are being tried. Words are, uh, slanders are trying them. Because of the ministry and God. Please remain calm. Be strong. Believe in God. And he shall perform wonders. Mighty hands clap with Almighty God. Hebrew 2.18 as we conclude. Hebrew chapter 2 verses 18. The same is in Hebrew. 
abasha no gutabara abageragezwa bose ongera usubire mu rya jambo kuko ubwo yababajwe no kugeragezwa ubwe abasha no gutabara abageragezwa bose amen muvuge ngo amen amen yesu ni wakitegererezo cyacu jesus is quintessential example ubwo yababajwe no kugeragezwa ubwe since he was tasted abasha no gutabara abageragezwa bose and is able to come through for those who are being tested ubwo yesu yababajwe no kugeragezwa ubwe because himself is suffered na washora kugutabara He's also able to come through for you. Hari kigerageza uhanganye nacyo. There is a trial you, that is confronting you. Wumva waracitse intege ku buryo utagishoboye kwihangana. You feel discouraged to a point where you want to give up. Wumva ikigeragezo ari cyawe nyine. So do you feel lonely in trial? No ngiye kukwibutsa ko ari rusange mu bantu. Let me remind you that it's common to man. Ndifuza yuko twasenga. I wish us to pray. Muhaguruke tuyinginga Imana. Kindly let's all stand and pray. Wowe wumvaga waracitse intege? If you felt that you were giving up. Kugwa kugeragezwa kutari kumwe. Cause of many different kinds of trials. Wowe wumva warahuye nibyo nunda tahuye nabyo kumva bi Birenze. Those who felt that they are facing more than they can handle. Wowe wumva hari kigerageza uhanganye nacyo. Those who face they are being confronted beyond what they can handle. Wowe wumva warananiwe no kwihangana. If you feel you are you can't be patient anymore. Wowe wumva warasakuje no mukigerageza. So those who complained and shouted in trial. Tugiye gusenga. Let us pray. Giye gusengera aba. I'm going to pray for those who are standing up. Nindangiza Rever araza gusaba akizwa. Afterwards Reverend will pray for those who want to receive Christ. Ndindangiza ndasaba umutambye. Then now finally ask Bishop. Asusengere twese. To come and pray for all of us. Adusabira imbaraga. To pray for strength. Zo kwihangana mu bitugerageza to remain patient in trials asabira itorero ryose to pray for the whole church sabire nabandi bari guca mu bibagerageza badukurikiye and to pray for those who are going through hardship ngenge gusengera aba i'm praying for those who are standing up those who felt because of the, because of difficulties they are going through abumvaga inege zaracitse those who felt they have no strength anymore nagira ngo mbabwire ngo mukomere i want to tell you remain strong ubabajwe ugari we Yesu Kristo since jesus himself was tasted abasha no gutabara bageragezwa bose he suffered he was tasted he's able to come iyo borengo ruri ya ruguru vemo do not leave your home don't do that ndongera nkubwire ngo wihanga I say it once more remain patient. Ntihangane ngo bari abantu bate. Don't leave your kids. Remain patient. Ndagira ngo ngere wihangane. Kindly remain patient. Don't leave your home. Wihangane. Remain patient. Tegerese. Wait on the Lord. Turizo witeka. Wait on the Lord. Reka tusenge. Let us pray. Uiteka mana nziza mana ikomeye mwizina rya Yesu. Turagushimye kubwa ijambo ryawe. Nsenge aba bene data bari ho bafesinga nibigeragezo bikomeye bari baracitse intege hari nibyo abahuye nibyo batewe na satani nibyo bigize abo basu baba barire ubarengere mwizina rya Yesu ariko nsengeye naba ari guca mu bigoye bananiwe babuze uko babifesinga babuze uko babivamo aba bacitse intege bumvaga birangiye rekubongerera imbaraga rekubarwanirire mana mwami wanje mana ikomeye wavuze ngo hamwe nibitugerageza ngo uyu ducira kanzu rekucira kanzu ubwo ko bw'Imana nk'izina rya Yesu ni wowe rembo ni wowe rembo rizima ryo kugira ngo babisokemo reka imbabazi zawe zibatwikire kandi ubutabazi bwawe bubabeho dusenze dutyo twize mu izina rya Yesu amen murakoze imana ibaho umugisha thank you god bless you abundantly Kongye dukomera imana amashi round of applause to the almighty god once more nkuko pastor Korodina bivuze so since you said it reka duhe amahirwe ndabyita amahirwe ntimukagire ngo ni ikintu cyoroshye let's give it opportunity chance to nongere nsubire mureka tuguye amahirwe 
we shall give you opportunity if you haven't received Christ as your Lord and personal Savior so you don't have to go the way you came we're giving you this privilege to receive Christ trials are common for both Christians so but our refuge is different when people are tasted they go to different people they go to sorcerer and some because they have but when we have Jesus as our king so the one who read in Hebrew says he's able to come through he's able to come through for those who are Christians what I give you this chance to receive Christ if, if you're there kind lift up your hand lift up your hand so that we may receive you. wherever you might be seated lift up your hand we give you this privilege before we wind up, lift up your hand if you're there so that we may pray for you. Are you there? Lift up your hand if you're there. God bless you, brethren. This moment is sometimes intimidating. But this is the precious moment. Brother, kindly stand up. Move forward, move forward. Come forward. Whether you are one, it does if you're still there, only lift up your hand. Don't leave before you receive Christ so that it may be your king. Mighty hands clap as well, come our brother. Anybody else? Lift up your hand if you're there. If you're upstairs, it's okay. If you're upstairs, lift up your hand as well. We give you a welcome, brother. Lift up your hand. Step forward. If you want to receive Christ, lift up your hand. Magazimbere yawe, nje kukwatiri, ngumberu mngami, numuchiza uji ngobgandi. Umbawari vijaha na koze vijosi. Kanda mazina yanji, uyandi che mujitabo chuhuji ngu. Mngizina rja yesu. Amen. Kwachire na bandi, kwachire na bandi. Ndavi izu yunganyu ragora numuna babi techele za chane. I know this moment is hard, you think about it. Na mgeni muzamu nchikanza mngatura ya magamu. Mbunyengu mngami yesu. Duhaga zimbere yawe. Dutsinzgue nuru vanza. Tuje kukwachira. Utubehiru mngami numuchiza. Tuwari vijaha hatu kwa kwa zibjoz. Kanda mazina yatu. Uyandi che mjitabo chubu jingu. Mngizina rja yesu. Amen. Reka tuwa senjere. Mana isho warabjo sikandi yo kuizerwa. Muru yu mganya mngiza turagushimye kandi tugu haichu wa hiro. Abana abana wawavutse uyu monsi mura ya masaha. Turabizi kwa mngijuru hari imundu. Turabizi kwa mngijuru hari indiri mbozo kubachira. Tuwachire mngitoro rjawe. Tuwachire mmukumbi wawe. Wari bija habakoze. Mazina yabo. Yandi che mjitabo chubu jingo. Kandu heri umunsi, batandu kani nzirambi zose, bagu kulichire, bagu korele, kujezi yuzazira. Urakoze data, wajire neza, turagushimie, tukukome amashi mwizina rja Yesu. Amen. Uri ya monu mumusanje, abafashe, mani wa humudishu. Kadukome ni mana, amashi kukisha, wajire neza. Round of applause to the Lord once more. Let's all stand. So Ziriteraniro. As we wind up. But the word of God has said. Let's remain patient. Be patient with what, what tries us. And after the trials, we shall emerge like pure gold. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And trials are common to humankind. You're facing this kind of trial, another person's facing different kind of trial. But Christ is there for us. Turn your neighbor and grab his or her hand if you may. Tell them, therefore, be strong. Your God is my God. Who will come through for me will come through for you. I have my own trials. Same way you have your own trials. But after that, there are good things. Because you trust in Him. Put your hands together for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Stretch your hands to the servant of God and pray a blessing upon her. Let's lift our hands and pray. Thank you all. Thank you the visitors and the online followers. May this word bring victory to you. And may the power of the Lord give you patience of what you're going through. To the, end, to the end of the trial. Warajerajeswe, when Bahere <laughs> Himana, Ivasha Kurgana, Kandi Kanesha, Mijava Hobjos, Munamba Wargan, and Animages could see the new man for women who is Kuja Hakuizera, Ayakun Baragaza, Hirumujisha, Avera Bos, Avanya Guanda Bos, Avari Hafinavari Kuri, Navakuri Chiri, Terra, and Kugiri Jambo, Ukoriji Tangas, Tang in Baragas Mutima, Yongotu Hanga with Tushan with Tugora, Kujamun to Marako Mergua, Tuzar with Kamber Jujing, Uraka Kujizan as a Munjer Miza, Hirumujisha Munhues. Ujia kwa kwa richa za kumachumbi. Ajia muruga mahoro. Ndetsi mungunje ni mngiza. Umushu mwaja kano mutu sinu mune shereshi. Na kahuna tujia kwa richa zaho. Zijanya nukwe jira meza yao. Tukarira. Kari tukwa mwera kwa mbari. Mbaraga nungu kwa mera. Nye mera uli munuwe sinawe. Ufite yonzira. Uomurija angu chingu yimbeleye. Kujango. Ahagari kuri jose zirano. Yivu kijango kwa hanyo. Na kristo na umu jirire neza. Ura karama ujize neza uvisa kusenga kwa churero. Tuziko njima yuhari ishimu ni kumechari. Kwa zari mjiza. Na tuza kwa tatu kushime tugu himba aze. Tuwa njivu wako ze. Kana tu yugina na mahanga yos. Tugu kome ya mashitu ukuri rugazi. Ngizi na rja yusukutu kwa ya nazareti. Amen. Amajie kujienda. Mahoro yima na kujigwe. Neza ni mbabazi. Iwana na kutikari yusukutu ngizi na rja yusukutu. Amani mutuze maze. Tukujina meza imani. Imani wa humujish. Amen. Amen.